Hello everyone and welcome back to Valhalla. Alright y'all, so we're back in our apartment. We're gonna get some things, read some news maybe. And buy Jill a shoulder massager, which, okay. <laughs> Let's do that first before I forget. Because let me, let me ask, is it gonna be like I think or am I just, am I being disgusting? Let's find out. Shoulder massager. For those days when you've built up too much tension- Mm-hmm. I'm not judging anyone. I'm just saying, you might as well say what it was. Alright. Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. Well, that's good. For, I need some me time. And Four says, use the bathroom. Oh, it's, yeah, okay. Okay. It's definitely not a shoulder. Well, it, it probably started as a shoulder massager, but it's okay, Jill. Jill, I get it. Don't worry about it. All right, so what's in the augmented eye today? I wonder if we'll read anything about the bank and maybe about Say? Or we could read about Christmas cakes. What? For the longest time, the term Christmas cake referred to women aged 26 or above who were regarded as undesirable. Just like a Christmas cake that ceases being useful after- I've never heard of that. It's a real term. But men around Rulich City developed a sweet tooth. Who doesn't like a mature woman? Todd 19 told the augmented eye. They have all the necessary experience and already, plus, I'm so tired of spoiled immature girls doing stupid shit. I say bring on the hot office ladies. Jill, 27, is confused. Christmas what? Is that like the opposite of beefcake? After discovering the real meaning, she launched into an hour-long rant. I'll let you know pencil skirts are the best. Oh shit. Wait, does that make me a Christmas cake? <laughs> Holla! Four says that's one hell of a rant. Oh, it was our Jill, wasn't it? Oh shit. AM Township 64 announced new waifu machine. Sukaban Soft just unveiled a new line of personal computers for the anime enthusiast market. This is after several attempts at appealing to a broader audience with the Uranus game console. Launch games have been announced as well. They include popular franchises like Monster Girl RPG, Pog, Monster Girlfriend, Pog, and Monster Companion, Pog. I like the Monster Girls. We're going for the weeb audience. Oh well, said the janitor. Wait, what? What's dignity anymore? Sigibon Soft plans to launch the AM Township sometime next year. I mean, honestly, just if that's what you're going for, just go for it. Force says, didn't you play a game from those guys? Jill says, Monster Girl Puzzle, yeah. That sounds good, I'd play that too. The EKDV-186 gets a historic update. Weapon enthusiasts are freaking out right now over a firmware update that makes that Makise Heavy Industries is releasing for its EKDV-186 line of assault rifles. Full compatibility with nano camo has been announced, along with civilian models with a weapon, the use of nano camouflage, and the option to customize their look for free with the help of the nano camo app. Wow. So wait, they're customizing their guns? That app's going everywhere. We've been using it in the battlefield for years, blah blah blah. This is probably not that important. Forrest says, you like guns? And Jill says, nah, I don't need a penis that badly. <laughs> oh, I mean, you know. Anything from Kira? Oh yeah, I think these are new, right? Dream Person by Miki. Every now and then I wonder if I'll ever meet my significant other. All the stimuli from being born just three years ago and directly being thrown into this wonderful disaster that is the idol industry makes me think of all the things I'm missing. Accidental love, lost love, even the gentle touch of another person. I feel like I'm in this bubble that won't let me catch all possible feelings and my senses get tired of the same environment. I want to meet new people, places, because even though I have a large bank of knowledge, I actually never experimented with what most consider normal. But you already know that from my songs. Jill says, I suddenly have an urge to hug her. Poor Mickey, I understand. Okay, this one is the same, I think. And then the Dome concert. Is this one new? I believe that it might be. Everyone, are you ready for the Dome concert? I sure am. I perform in a rather large number of concerts every year, and even then I can't help but be excited every time I have one around the corner. And it's all thanks to you. Thanks to your energy and love surrounding my life in every aspect. I'm gonna perform all your favorite songs, so please be excited. Just one little request. Please don't wait for me outside the stadium or the bar. This might be the same, I can't remember. Jill says, by bodyguards, does she mean the fan club? Or, I'm not sure about that one. All right, let's go to work. Bye, four, have a good day. It's Tuesday, December 20th. 
We're getting close to Christmas. All right, Jill, let's do this. Good evening. Ah, uh, Gil, how you doing, babe? Uh, hello, Jill. In that cage? I, uh, I brought my cat. Wait, Jill, you brought four in here? Why? Your cat? Did I hear Yasunori Kato was in the bar? Bring me that bastard, I'll give him the fist of justice, I'll make him eat the Kanto earthquake, I'll borrow his cap. Wait, there are no evil Omniyuji here. Boss, what the fuck? Didn't you say you brought Kato to the bar? My cat! Cat! Oh well, that's even better, hey Four. Why did she bring him? So cute. Why'd you bring him? I heard some apartments in my building were being raided. Oh no, okay, then I guess we had to then. I probably would have done the same. Oh my god, I made- <laughs> This is very off topic and I'm so sorry, but I have made a major mistake by talking to my Discord and shitposting while I was starting to record this because <laughs> they are posting the stupidest crap in there. <laughs> oh, I love my Discord so much. I don't have anything suspicious, but you never know, so I'd rather have him here, at least today. Oh well, I'd say something about the health regulations, but we already had a pack of corgis in here. Yeah, it's not like you can say much. Do you want me to take care of him in my office? Oh, please? She loves him. Sure, but he's a bit shy, so... Alright, Four, let's go to my office. And I think she didn't hear me. Say, Gil, how do you always come so early? I live close by. Really? Yep, Chief got me a small apartment nearby. Something about the BTC housing program. Oh yeah, I got mine through that too. Anyway, let's start. All right. Do we wanna, do we wanna, do we wanna mess it up a little? I don't know. Uh, this one is really loud. I'm gonna change this one. Please don't uh, worry about that. Uh, what do we have? What, what haven't we put in here? Okay, we could put this one back maybe. And let's get rid of that one too. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have Aireen, we have, do we have nighttime maneuvers? We don't, let's put that in there. Okay. Time to mix drinks and change lives. I wonder who's coming in today. Whoa, it's a dog. Oh, he's, oh my God, he looks like Spuds McKenzie. Does, is anyone even watching this who knows who Spuds McKenzie is? Please tell me in the comments if you do. Yo, what's up? Hello. Man, you're looking very cool. Yo, lady, did you hear me? A dog. Another dog. Hey, I'm not just another dog. I came here as a part-timer. Stop it. Is this... Is this our part-timer? Oh, my God. So you're the part-timer? Yeah. Okay. That's why Dana said he was cute. I see. Okay, I'm, I'm understanding now. Boss, I'm taking my break. Wait, Jill, we just got here. It's too early. Oh, shit. Oh, the part-timer's here. Oh, he came early. Why, dog? Why? Why, why, why? Because look at him. He has a wine shirt and sunglasses. You can't argue with that, can you? And he's a Shiba, not a Corgi. I don't know what you're complaining about. Oh, okay, that's probably why he looks a little bit bigger. I was wondering. They all look the same to me. Granted, Shibas could be seen as a Japanese counterpart to corgis. They're both funny looking and dogs used by royalty. Anyway, starting today, this dog will help around here. My name is... It doesn't matter what your name is. Oh, that's rude. I think that's probably an HR violation of some kind. Boss, please don't shout. Sorry. Just call him Rad Shiba. Why Rad Shiba? What part of Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses don't you get? He's the raddest thing here. He is pretty damn rad. Thanks. Anyway, he'll mostly help getting orders, bringing clients in and cleaning, but he ought to know how things work. Cleaning? That'd be a change of pace. He'll act like a client and see how you work. Uh, right. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. Oh, chill. Are you okay? Yeah, just a couple of post-traumatic flashbacks. Coming right up. Oh, Jill, Jill, it's not that bad, is it? It's not, it's not, it's not that bad. Should we give him a large one? I say yes. Get the dog drunk. Why not? 
I'm here all day. <laughs> I've got nothing else to do. Maybe, maybe he'll say that we're great. Maybe he'll become even more rad. I don't know. Blended. Keep going. Gotta blend it up. Whoa. There we go. There you go. It's probably bigger than you. Here. Wow, this is awful. People actually pay for this shit? Hard to believe, I know. So, what brings a dog like you to a taking a part-time job here? I'm here to help the funding of my organization. Are you with the Safe Our Toy Company? What? No, don't lump me in with those hurting supremacists. I have a more noble and benign organization. I belong to CIRA. CIRA? Canine Independent Rescue Association. Oh, that sounds nice. We give a place where dogs can be dogs and save them from themselves. Oh my god, my Discord. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I should not be looking at it. Holy shit. CIRA is what I love, but damn, it's expensive sometimes. We decided to take part-time jobs to help fund anything it needs. We want to help CRA be the best it can be. What do you do at CIRA? Pay treatment for hurt dogs, give food to the hungry ones, play with the bored ones. That sounds so nice. We're there for everyone. Huh, that actually sounds nice. Say, do you have a menu? Oh, something like that, yeah. Here. Now, let's see. Any recommendations? Avoid the part with promo drinks. Oh, the Grizzly Temple is one of those. Ah, Fluffy Dream? I like the sound of this one. Coming right up. He wants a Fluffy Dream. Okay, he's so cute. Are we... Oh. I mean, 3, 6 and optional. It still won't be big, so... Uh, I mean, we could make it big with Kama Dream, but then the dog will probably die, and I don't want the dog to die, you guys. I'll just make it even. Aged and mixed. There you go, here's a fluff dream. Fluffy dream. Wow, this one's nice. So why did you pick a bar? It seemed fun. I didn't need that many weird skills to be part of this, so it was my best bet. Besides, it's close to home, so I can get here by walking. And I do love me some walks. I could walk all day. Weird skills? Yeah, stuff like food handler certificate, previous work experience, or thumbs. Yeah, he doesn't have those. Why'd you pick a bar? Um, on a whim too, I guess. Jill, you're very much like this dog. I wanted a place where I could see people come and go all the time. And bartending sounded a bit more glamorous than just being a store clerk. Oh yeah, about the way you mix stuff. Yeah? Is it... Hey! It's a cat! A cat! Hey, Four, weren't you in boss's office? Hello, cat! Wanna play? Let's play! Oh no, Four probably doesn't want to. Didn't dogs hate cats or something? No, not all of them. Aren't Sheba's supposed to be like cats in a way? For In the dog world? I think they get along with cats, but don't quote me on that. I've never had one. Let me know. We don't hate them, unless they're intruders. Huh. You said his name was Four? Hello, Four, let's play. He doesn't want to. No playing allowed, you'll make a mess. Four, go back to boss's office. Meow. That's one obedient cat. My pride. You want something else? Yeah, but I'll talk with John Face here for a bit. <laughs> Everyone says Gil looks like a John. Eh? All right. Oh, I shouldn't get riled up so easily by dogs, but oh, I'm just tired, I guess. Hello, Jill. Eh? The voice. <gasps> oh. My god, it's Say. Thank goodness I was honestly so worried about her. Say, uh? What happened to you? <laughs> nice seeing you too. Well, I fell from a really tall place to a really rough spot. Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance or something? I just got out of one, don't worry. How did you manage to slip by the mobs lynching white knights? It is a bit rough. Well, luckily, these bandages help me conceal my identity. <laughs> oh, God, does Stella know where you are? She's worried sick. Why come straight here? I... The ambulance where I got treatment couldn't stray too far from the hospital. They're nice people. I talk to them a lot while on rescue duties. I was nearby, and yours was the closest friendly face I could find. 
I needed to regain my composure before doing anything else, so, um, here I am. Um, if you're scared because they might come for me, I can leave, you know? No, 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 don't go. The security systems of the bar are top-notch, and my boss is also the bouncer of sorts here. I'd say you're actually safer here, so I'm not worried about me. Instead, I'm worried about you. First I hear you at the bank, and then I find out you disappeared? And now you show up with all those bandages. Are you fine? What happened at the bank exactly? Did you talk with Stella? She was worried sick about you. Slow, slow down a bit. The, the medication makes me feel everything more intensely, almost like a hangover. Sorry. It's nice to know someone like a bartender was worried about me though, thanks. Everyone I know has been ignoring me, so I was feeling lonely. Why would they? Well, you've seen the lynches they give to any white knight they find. By ignoring me, they're actually saving me from getting kicked to death. My good deeds finally paid off, I guess. <laughs> That's so sad. Can I get you anything? Um, something sweet without alcohol. Thank God these pants still had my wallet in them. Oh no, I couldn't take your money right now. It, it's on the- Jill, please, I want to pay for my drink. I take it I won't be able to change your mind. No. Uh, I mean, yes. Oh, I mean, you won't be able to change my mind. Sweet and no alcohol, right? Coming right up. She seems to be in a bit of pain. Let me make sure I give her something sweet that doesn't have alcohol in it. What's on the jukebox right now? All right, Uomoto. This one's quite loud. Um, I think the sweet ones are the girly drinks, right? There's a couple in here that don't have it. Yeah, optional cometrine, so Sugar Rush will do. I think, um, Sweet that doesn't have alcohol in it. I think these are all, yeah, these are all optional. I guess it doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, one, and then no cometrine. Aged and mixed. Here you go, darling. It matches your hair. A little. Careful. Yay! This will help me calm down a bit. So, what happened to you? Where'd you fall from? I was escaping the place near the end of the whole thing, and I had to make a leap of faith. I've jumped from higher places, but uh, I landed badly here. Most of my injuries are actually from some debris that fell on me. She's ripped, though. Holy shit, look. I guess you have to be right to be a white knight. Oh, but my broken arm is actually from the fall. How? Well, I rolled to mitigate the fall, but I made a bad move and broke it. Good thing I drink lots of milk. <laughs> but I always drink milk. I was under rubble for quite a bit, but luckily someone found me. Someone? I woke up in the hospital. They told me some guy brought me there. I don't know who he was, but I owe him my life. Wow. What? Uh, nothing. You just sound, um, cheerful. <laughs> I'm alive. Why wouldn't I be? After all that happened at the bank, uh, here I am, talking to you. Oh, being able to talk at all. I get what she means. Don't think too much about it. I'm fine. I'm totally f- Oh, 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 no. Oh, huh. Maybe you should rest here, honey. How are things around here? I, I heard there was a huge commotion with the whole thing happened. I'd sleep here in the bar on Saturday, but I guess it could have been worse. Glad to know that. Did you contact Stella? She was on the verge of despair yesterday. Uh. Um. Oh my god, she hasn't. Why? Hey, Jill, I want another drink. Um, 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 uh, Bleeding Jane. Okay. She asked for a Bleeding Jane, but is it really the best idea to give her one? Oh, maybe I shouldn't. Is that what they're saying here? Maybe... Oh, that's what she asked for, but it's say I think, because doesn't it have alcohol in it? It doesn't have cometrine in it. Spicy, classic, and sobering. What if I... Oh, maybe I should... Maybe I should be careful here. What if I, okay, what if I keep serving her like a sweet, nice drink that isn't gonna like, do you know what I mean? What if I give her, 
What if I give her one of these? This might not work. Just mixed. It's, it's a small little thing. Nighttime maneuvers? Shit's good. Here. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Oh, Jill knew. Jill knew. The other one was probably too much for her, right? So, how are things inside the bank? <laughs> Come again? What happened inside the bank? How did you manage to get through? Um, well, I was with this nice bunch of people. Well, they were apparently nice at the very least. We tried our best to find a way out of the whole thing. Cracking through the security, finding safe spots. Uh, but then, um, uh, oh, maybe. I'm starting to wonder what actually happened. It's clearly something she can't talk about. And she still hasn't told Stella where she is. Something's up. Something's definitely up here. Sorry for asking all that. It was obviously over the line. No, don't worry about it. <coughs> it's just the animal just still numbing. I'll take my leave now. Thank you for everything, Jill. Is it really okay? Is it really okay for her to go? Are you alright? I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, she just ran off. I don't think she's fine at all. <sighs> um Eh? Weren't you leaving? Yeah, I was, but well... You know how I just said I was fine? Yeah, you're not fine, darling. Yeah? I I'm not. So, I, I wanted to know if you could lend me your ear for a bit. Well, I was gonna take my break. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. What I mean is that I could lend you an ear if you don't mind going to the back alley for a bit. Yeah. Please. Oh, say. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I hope she's okay. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to see that break until the next one. Do you think that we actually go there? I wonder if we get to talk to her or something. I think we need to. She's clearly not okay, and something is clearly up. But whatever it is, we're going to have to find out in the next one. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, and I'll see you soon in the next episode. Toodaloo!